All right, listen, I'm not gonna stand here and tell you that by the end of this video, you're gonna know who makes the greatest wireless battery pack of all time. People have different needs, different tastes, and different budgets. And we all know variety is the spice of life. What I will tell you though, is that by the end of this video, you'll be armed with all the information that you need to go out and get the wireless battery that is right for you. This is Wireless Battery Beatdown. In the black tape, we got two packs from Peak, the Forge and the Forge C. In the green, two from Critical, the regular size and the shorty. And from FK in the red tape, the Lightning Bolt Uni. And in the blue, we threw in a generic RCA pack to round out the competition. Six wireless battery packs, all starting off 100% juiced up and ready to rip. Six identical machines, same voltage, same needle. All right, it looks like we're all set up. Our top-notch tech is kicking the tires and lighting the fires. The clock is running and we are underway. Let's go to the tail of the tape and see how these six competitors stack up. The Lightning Bolt Uni and regular Critical Pack boast up to 10 hours of runtime. It should be pointed out though, all of these advertised runtimes come with disclaimers. Your runtime will vary based on the way you tattoo, voltage, needle type, and even the viscosity of your ink can affect how long your pack has juice. All the batteries except the generic come with RCA or 3.5 connections and similar ranges of voltage options. The two competitors from Peak have easy to read displays that will show you your voltage, battery percentage, and runtime, which is extremely handy for keeping track of session times, AKA billing hours, and it lets you know what you can expect realistically from your battery when you start to work. The two entries from Critical have similar features. Even the generic has a screen that tells you your voltage and battery percentage. The Uni has a color-coded system that lets you know your voltage and blinks certain colors when your battery starts to get low. And speaking of getting low, it looks like we have our first knockout. At two hours and 59 minutes, the generic is down and out. Not a bad showing for a $45 battery. Looks like the critical shorty is done. Lasting two or three minutes longer than the generic, the lightweight shorty has checked out. Two down, four to go. The peak batteries both have the jump start feature, firing up at nine volts as does the uni, and even the generic will auto start at eight volts. The critical batteries don't mention jump start features in any of their user guides. All the batteries are relatively light, with the critical shorty being naturally the lightest. Looks like the time lapse is speeding up now and we've just lost another one. At under four hours, the Peak Forge is out. But if the Peak Forge was your pick and it ran out on you nearly four hours in, all you would need to do is unscrew the top, drop in a rechargeable battery, and in seconds, you're back in the game. Wait a second, let's step back into the ring. At four hours, 37 minutes and change, the critical connect is down for the count. And now we are down to the final two, the Peak Forge C and the FK Uni. Let's take a look at these two in terms of wrapping and balance. Wrapping these packs shouldn't be a problem for anyone who's been wrapping machines for a minute. Machine bags, clip cord covers, plastic wraps, rubber bands, whatever has worked for you in the past is gonna work with all of these. FK's pack, while having an L-shaped profile, claims to be more ergonomic than its competitors. Don't let the L-shaped joints freak you out. Wrap them up tight and get to work. And it appears we have a winner. The Forge C has expired at about four hours and 45 minutes, and while the Uni is still going, its warning lights are flashing. What's the takeaway here? The Uni is still running, but being the most expensive out of the bunch at $300, it better be. Let's take a look at the price tags. The generic died first, but lasted almost three hours and will only cost you 45 bucks. So in the age of everyone gets a trophy, let's give this the best backup award. The Critical Connect advertised a runtime of six to 10 hours, but died on us at a little over four and a half hours and will run you 260 bucks while the shorty advertised up to five hours, died in our test at barely over three hours, and it cost you about 150 bucks. Let's go to the video. And at almost six hours to the second, the uni has finally succumbed. So advertised at six to 10 and dead today at six, it's the most expensive, but the longest lasting. For reliability and pure strength, let's give it the Marathon Man Award.
Then we have the Peak Forge with this easily replaceable and rechargeable battery coming in at a respectable 3 hours and 45 minutes and costing a very enticing 80 bucks. We gotta give it the best battery on a budget award. Not to be outdone by its cousin, the Forge C, with a clear intuitive interface and incredibly well balanced. This little power pack gave the Uni a run for its money coming in at just under 5 hours and costing only 100 bucks. It checks more boxes than any other pack we've tested today. So I think I got a hand best overall to the Peak Forge C. So there you have it. There's a time and place for all the entries we saw today. If you're not sure which is right for you, run it back and check our tail of the tape. You know what your needs are. Check them boxes, get your gear, and get back to work.